Hey guys, welcome back to some more Warhammer 3. Scratch it on with you. Let's see what the Empire's limited response is going to be. Because if they haven't got armies elsewhere, this is pretty much what they've got. And two of the most dangerous lords are there with barely any units. So... The response is going to be somewhat limited. And then I've got my two most experienced armies going up against Altdorf and its garrison. Oh, where the hell are these going? Okay. Alright. Oh, balls. Yeah. Well, shit. Well, Skaven have really got to pull something out of their ass now. Because now they've got them going against them. Although Skaven might do better against her armies because a lot of it's just primarily artillery. Artillery shouldn't auto-resolve well against armies of Ratmen. Especially not when they can summon bloody menace from blows. But then again, menace from blows again, I don't think they counted into the auto-resolve feature. Mission successful. We've got Razor Standard and the Crown of Command. Okay. Bring me flesh to craft. What have we got in here? That one. I've got a few standards on here, Jesus. You dare. Everything dies. Right. Yes. Set ourselves up and get ready to attack. They're moving there. Everything dies. Move them there, they can attack that next turn. Right. Crown of Command. Ah, wow. why is he still in that stance? No, no. In your normal stance. Right. Uh, no, we're doing this attack first. So I'm hoping this one can be an auto resolve. Darkness comes. 
that one. And damage. They'll recover in two turns. Empire could try and attack us, but Boris is by himself and Absolutely. Emperor's not in a much better place either, so I'm not concerned if they decide to come and attack us. Because they're not going to do a whole lot. That's what I wanted. At least they didn't retreat. Well, that's the garrison. Main threatening units there is crossbowmen, his handgunners, and his mortar. He's got Norn Ironsides and Hockland long rifles. And then this guy's managed to recruit Angerbite. Is he the annoying one? Oh god, he's the one that's on the fucking tank. So him. Three Hockland long rifles and two Luminarchs. Not bad. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Let's get ready for it. My reinforcements were going to come on before theirs, but right at the back of the map, and they'd take ages to fucking get there, so I didn't want that. So instead, I have opted to attack with half, well, just over half my zombies. While the other portion locks them in place. And my reinforcements come on right there. In 3 minutes and 22. Oh, yes. Heinrich Kemmler. Krell, get to work. Going for you. Right, Kimlock. Stop. What? The hell is happening here? Here, yeah, move out of the way, you stupid fucking tank. Jesus Christ. God, that's not annoying at all. Krell, kill the idiot in the tank. Oh, 
Who's free firing? We don't want no free firing bullshit here, thank you. Go get them. Reinforcements. If they could actually get on. Fucking Luminarch. Your time has come. We are the new order. Yes. Champion of Corn. Bingo. Tally ho. Anyone still being annoying? What's this thing gear? Death to the living. That's him, isn't it? Blood magic. Uh, can't tell where she is anymore. Fucking hell. Not right into the combat though, can we? Do you should bring us somewhat? How is Krell? What the hell is he doing? I need uh, actually these. Could do me something. 
come run down some of these units. We weren't too bad, we lost one unit of Crypt Terrors. Considering we had to hold all those armies in place and my reinforcements couldn't get on. If I had to fight it again, the only thing I'd do differently is move my reinforcement thing a bit to the side. So not right where the re enemy reinforcements are coming on, so they can then get on. Uh, we'll take the replenishment so my units are a bit more intact. He's dead. Uh, just get a unit of them. Um. Weapon strength and charge bonus. We'll come back for that after, we'll get on the magic, if we get enough for it. into her magic in case she needs to use some you dare bats and wolves gather case okay, so leadership up she's immortal yes means now all my characters are immortal in my primary armies. Bring me flesh to craft. So if you want to attack that, he must pull in Campbell, yeah? He does. Hang God, this gives us a victory. What? Don't lose anything. Oh, yeah. Yes, time is right. Oh, yeah. That were a fucking good turn. Managed to auto resolve it because it beat the bulk of their garrison. That's awesome. I thought I was going to have to fight a siege, and now we don't have to fight a siege. I don't mind fighting sieges with some armies, but with a lot of armies, no. What the fuck? 
So we looted it and occupied it, and it only lost one level. Because normally when you loot it, it'll lose two levels. Seems like if you raid it, you can, uh, sorry, you can uh, sack it. Usually sacking will take a level, but not always. So you can sack and occupy, and sometimes it might only lose one, but usually it will lose two. So that's not too shabby at all. So the Emperor's now lost his main recruiting hub. Which should hopefully mean he can only recruit shit, depending. Now that's tier 5. What buildings has he got though? Demogriff Knights, Demogriff Knights are halberds there. Great swords from there, I think, I'm guessing, whatever. But that's his main city gone. And we need two settlements. Literally two. So if I can take that and that, we've won the campaign. But that'll have to be done in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Take care, everyone, and have a great day.